just wake up in the south of France and it's my 23 no 23rd birthday today so happy um I just had an amazing sleep I was I think awake since seven um and now I'm going to make some breakfast and it actually rains which is not the nicest weather but Whatever, we'll just do with it and I hope the sun is going to shine tomorrow and I'm going to take you with me this week for a whole France week and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, what I'm going to eat and all these things. So let's first celebrate my birthday. This is actually my outfit. It's a sweater from Sporty and Rich. This super cute shorts from Bernie Melville and my Nike socks and my glasses. I normally wear um, contacts but in the morning I like to wear my glasses. If there is one thing that you like, what is it? <laughs> this is literally a Dutch thing. It's so nice. It's literally a Dutch thing. It's it's a Dutch, a typical Dutch thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm going to make myself ready for the day and I'm going to use a Neo Hydro face cream. And I just showered and I always put this on my face first thing in the morning. Mm. I literally this such a long time. I am such a fan of this brand. It's called Neoderma. I think this brand is from the Netherlands and I am using it for already like three or four years and it literally makes my skin so glowy and just so perfect. And then after that I'm going to use their Blue Blood Face Sunscreen SPF 30. always in my neck, my ears. So it's actually so fun because I don't feel like it's my birthday. Otherwise like I feel like it's my birthday but always on my birthday I'm like okay I'm getting a year older now. I don't know it's always so nice to get all the congratulations and feeling that like it's your day um, and you can do whatever you want. So I think today we're going to Cassis. It's like a beautiful village near the beach um, so I'm gonna have like a stroll there and have like a nice cocktail and some food I'm also going to apply a pap start eye cream from Clinique a little bit under my eye I'm not doing this every day but sometimes when I feel like it <laughs> it was in my toilet bag I also applied this Melling and Goods Moyeto Le Bon which is my favorite. It doesn't stick so it's actually very nice. And I'm also going to apply a 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. And this is literally my own, the only makeup that I do in the morning. I don't see it as makeup. <laughs> it's just like a setter for my brows. I like my brows to be up like that. All right, I'm done. I'm going to get changed. I don't know how I'm going to do my hair, if I'm going to do it like this or just loose. I think loose. I'm going to put in some dry shampoo, I think. Yeah, wait, I'm gonna get that. I'm also going to add my favorite jewelry. It's by One Oak, beautiful jewelry brand from Amsterdam. And it is these ones. I think I have them for already two years and I used to wear them every day but now I switch off like whenever I feel like it and a little ear cuff all right I think we're ready So 
So Marco, where are we going to? We're going to the lunch location right now. Hi, Marco here. We're in the south of France. I'm together here with Ika. We are right now, we are, what is the name of this place? Cassis. We're in Cases. It's like, <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever. Like, we just saw this French lady and she was so French. Like, I just, you know, I, I can't. How cute is this blue car? so cute. If I had like more time, during a day I would like read a book every week. I mean this room returning reminds me of reading more books and getting into more like, you know, unknown stories. A book that you wouldn't pick yourself. Um, you just pick something and just read it and like surprise yourself about the nice um, stories. Oh my god, this stuff is amazing. <laughs> I always love mugs. I buy it over and over again. It's just so cute. Let's go! So we went to Le Vigne. How is Vigne Labin. Vigne Labin. And uh, we expected it to be like a bigger market. But it's actually very cute. They have all kinds of fruits, vegetables. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get some vegetables for tonight, for the other days. And then let's see what we can get. But it's very cute. I'll show you. Beautiful Keramix store, and I love it so much. How cute is this? So cute. I really love this plate. We're down the Even cuter street. This is so cute. All nice cafes. Sometimes when you walk into another street, you always discover so many more things. Right, we just came from the market and I'm going to make a salad with some tofu, sun dried tomatoes, cucumber, hummus, olives, and this is like alfalfa, um, and some spinach, rocket, and let's see what I'm going to add more. I'm going to add a bunch of spinach in here and some rockets and I'm going to mix everything together so in here I'm going to put a little dressing of hummus with hazelnut balsamico and a little bit of water and I'm going to add some pepper and salt as well oh my god I'm so excited for this I'm so hungry So excited! So what we have here is a salad with some tofu, cucumber, spinach, rocket, um, orange melon, some sun-dried tomatoes, coconut flakes, what else? <laughs> um, alfalfa, olives, and I think that's it. So yummy! Mm. So good. 
so fresh. I like it. A mountain today it's gonna to be a walk of around four hours I think and it's already so beautiful here so nice all right let's go be there in a second. Watch for us. so fast um i just woke up and i got myself this amazing bikinis on with this nice skirt um you can easily like wrap it and this bikinis is from triangle this hat is from sandro this one is from soleil soleil from australia and i got my burks on these are so handy i actually didn't like them at first, but then I just got influenced. <laughs> and, um, I am going to make some breakfast, brunch, um, and I'm going to show you what I make. So I'm going to make a bruschetta and I'm going to get some of this fresh basil from the garden. Oh my god, I love this so much. Like in London, there is no possibility ever that I would have a garden outside, and here it is like so sunny so there's growing so many herbs here and i'm going to add some basil to my bruschetta so that's nice so i got some here let's see how much i'm gonna get i'm gonna get this amount Whoop. oh it smells so nice oh my god it's it smells so good oh i love Basil. I actually love basil the most of all the herbs that are existing. So I'm going to slice the basil in little pieces. I'm going to add it into the bruschetta mixture. So I cut all the tomatoes in very small pieces and I added the avocado and basil and I'm going to mix it all through and I'm going to add some olive oil, pepper and salt and I already have the oven on 200 degrees and I'm going to add the bread to it and toast it a little bit so it is like very toasty. Oh, this smells so good. Incredible. Salt and pepper. I'm always trying it out. So good. So what I actually always do is I always when I when I have old bread, I try to toast it because then it gets a little bit crispy, so you don't taste the old bread anymore. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to it. You can also add garlic, but I'm not a huge fan of garlicky bread. So I just always do some olive oil. So it gets extra crispy. Oh. And try to use organic olive oil so it even tastes better. You can find it 
literally everywhere and here in France you have so many good olive oils but if you go to your local, your, your local supermarket you can always find some organic olive oil as well. Tastes so good, so fresh and olives, hummus. You should try it. Mm. I think it's time to show our house. So, this is such a beautiful place. It is in the Provence in France, and I am gonna show you this view, it's absolutely incredible. So, we have a swimming pool out there, um, and an incredible view over the mountains. Here's the first entrance to the house, um, but I'm going to show you the outside. So I absolutely love these blue, um, I don't know how you call it, these things, <laughs> these window things. Um, so we got some fresh, I don't know if it's really, really fresh, but <laughs> some are really good. Yeah, because I have to ripe some peaches from the garden. So when you walk over here. You have two other apartments, um, so some fresh herbs, this is the entrance, where most of the cars are, you have these nice seats over there and here, you can literally chill in the evening or in the morning and you have this incredible view, it's so stunning, um, and when we walk further, nice flowers, Apartment, so you can walk all around. Ow. Still have my summer shoe. You can walk all around the house. Um, we have some neighbors, and these neighbors literally have an incredible fruits and vegetables garden. It's insane. Last year we got these huge zucchinis, and they were so tasty. I don't know, just fresh vegetables and fruits taste so much better when you grow them yourself or when they're organic and yeah it's just amazing i'm fan <laughs> so here you have this super cute seat where you can sit have like a wine and they're growing some beautiful flowers right here normally there are grapes here but because it was so warm this year i think they all died but yeah and there you have another seat and some bears so cute. They're too hot. We can't eat them right now. Um, let's see. And then another cute bow. And then we come into the swimming pool area. With nice chairs you can lay in. It's so stunning. So we have been going in France, in the south of France, especially for I think. 13 years because my father is a glider so he always loves to be in the air and fly through the mountains and uh, it's his big hobby and now you know realizing that we have a home here is actually so nice because he can do whatever he wants and my mom can like be in the garden and cook the whole day and chill and sunbath and read books and work and even if it's not summer you can always go, go here and it's our family house and yeah it's so nice that you can always come here no matter what it's not a hotel that you have to book but it's just always accessible so that's absolutely amazing so we actually parked our car <laughs> there on the cliff <laughs> so scary i am wearing this amazing set oh, my sunglasses okay. and we're going to a super cute Schönfloch market there should be some music food drinks so i'm going to explore so exciting <laughs> Uh, 
so delicious. For a woman? I think this is vegan pesto because I see no milk in it, which is actually amazing. Every cool jam. What I actually really, really like about these small communities is that people live so down to earth and people really live together with their families and friends and they're like doing just normal normal things which i think nowadays is so important to really yeah live very close together and be aware of your environment produce local buy local and yeah i love that it's just a reminder again and again to really live yeah just so simple. I like that. I made a delicious, delicious salad for tonight. It is this amazing avocado melon salad with some basil and olive oil and a squeeze of lime, some pepper and salt and some fresh... Did I say fresh basil from the garden? I don't know, but it is like this. For dinner I made roasted zucchini, I cooked some tagliatelle with the vegan pesto that I bought on the market and I have some chives with sun-dried tomatoes and pistachio I'm going to add it into the pasta and I'm going to add some spinach and rocket as well. <laughs> that I killed a man. <laughs> um, I don't know where I come from but I feel always when it has been full moon. I always dream so intense. Um, I think lots of people can relate. Um, but yeah, I don't have a lot on my day planning. I am going to sunbath, <laughs> lay in the sun, eat lots of nice food. Tonight we're hosting a barbecue for all the people in the house, um, which is really fun. And maybe I'm going to explore a little bit in the area, do a walk or something like that. But most of all, I'm like feeling so like chilling and doing nothing. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And first, I'm going to make breakfast. And yeah, that's it for now. First things in the morning is a big glass of warm water. Warm water really helps with digestion to get your digestion flowing. So mostly when I wake up in the morning, I don't go to the toilet directly. So I need some water to really push it down. And um, yeah, so I can go to the toilet. I know this is a, a topic which normally not a lot of people talk about, but it's so, so important to have good poop and to really have good digestion because it has to go out of your body so you can start a new day and digest in a new way. I don't know if this makes sense, but yeah, it's really important. So I normally do two classes, so that's what I'm going to do now as well. First, I'm using this almond yogurt with some fruits. I have proteins, fats, and I love some fruit in my breakfast. Um, and especially in summertime, I really love yogurts. It's just so fresh and so easy. And uh, mostly, like when I'm at home, I really love to make smoothie bowls or oats but I think on holiday it's just easiness and just yogurts are perfect mm. I'm going to make a granola so I made already this bowl with oats some uh, pumpkin seeds and a zest of a lemon and I'm also going to squeeze an orange 
this gives like such a great taste to the granola and i mean making granola yourself is just so much better because there's not not so much sugar in it you can obviously add sugar to it if you like but i use an agave syrup which is a natural sugar and it tastes just so good instead of the granolas from the supermarket i add a lot of cinnamon to it i love cinnamon i added some vanilla extract um i used i'm gonna use this agave syrup just some bits um and i'm also going to add some nuts but first i'm going to chop them i'm also adding a little bit of Olive oil. This already smells so good. Oh. I put it in the oven and I bake it for 45 minutes and I stir it every 5 to 10 minutes. Um, so every part gets golden and gets really crispy and good. And then Especially in the last 10 minutes, I'm going to add some coconut sprinkles to it. Um, because if you do it on the beginning, they will burn. So, um, yeah. But I also will put the um, full recipe in the description so you can make it yourself. <laughs> This one is from It's Now Cool. It's a Australian brand and I got them. It's so cute. Also, I picked some grapes from the garden. It is so delicious. Mm. And what I'm gonna do now is take a swim and um, yeah. <laughs> Yummy lunch with some fresh rye bread from Denmark. Avocado, cucumber, olives, figs, and some alfalfa on top. Mom has a wine and she has some cheese. And we're sitting here. You might think she looks crazy. I just I just got out of the sun. My hair is so curly. Um, I made a little snack. It is this cereal with granola in it and actually i love to snack on this mm. i made it with oat milk two tablespoons of granola so good so refreshing <coughs> i always love a crunchy snack so does this you work mm. i also made a kombucha for myself i love to drink this during the day it is so healthy and I mix it a little bit with sparkling water. Kombucha is like a fermented drink. It's This one is with ginger and it's really good for your gut health, for digestion. Um, it contains like cane sugar, I think. Yeah, this one contains cane, su cane sugar, which is not like too sweet and it's not unhealthy. It's just natural sugar and it's just so refreshing. I actually never made it myself, which I really have to do. Um, but yeah, this is just easy. I'm going back into the sun. I really want to get like a little tan before I get back to London. So I think I am on my way. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but a little tan, which is good. Oh, for dinner, I made something incredible. It is so delicious and I can't wait to eat it. So this is what we made. Baked sweet potato with balsamic um, crumb fresh, a vegan one, and with fresh figs and some alfalfa. In here we have a vegan feta salad with cucumber, fresh mint, some dill, and what else? I got a some agave syrup and olive oil in there with some pepper and salt. And in here we have a super nice tomato pesto salad with some fresh, um, let's see, olives on top 
and underneath you barely can see it but i baked some fennel a little shortly in the oven for about like five minutes to soften it a little bit with some pesto inside and that's it it looks so delicious oh this guy is incredible look how cute we're preparing the table yum oh these are these uh raviolis yeah, how do you say uh, tourton. Tourton. and some extra potatoes are coming in we got some tofu Feta salads, organic wine from the region, the burp. I love it so much to host dinners for people. I actually love to make food for others. Like it's, it's my huge passion to prepare food and put in like nice ingredients, especially here from the region. It's like so delicious. It tastes like so much better than you know, in a city where you can buy the same things, but it just tastes so good. Um, and yeah, I really love to host parties like this, you know, food parties. And when I see people enjoying my food, then my whole experience is just like complete. I love it so much. But I'm gonna take the tortata now and some potatoes that we roasted in the oven. And then let's get ready for dinner. <laughs> Potato, tomato salad, feta salad, tofu, and a eggplant tartata, and wine. Amazing. Nice. Our evening was so nice. It was so cozy, so fun with everyone, and yeah, it was so lovely. I am going to bed. It is a quarter to 11, and I am going to sleep. I want to thank you for watching this vlog and i really enjoyed it it is like very new this whole youtube game so yeah i really have to get used to it but i think it's really fun and i'm actually very glad that i started and yeah if you want to leave anything in the comments just leave something behind and maybe we can chat on and if you have any ideas or feedback or whatever like that please let me know because i really like to evolve and create better content and create better videos. Big hugs and talk soon.